परिवार के और बच्चे तो करता ही नहीं ये नहीं बिहार से हम लोग ले आए उसको करवाते हैं so in in your village on your looms the the families you mentioned that the Gupta families never before have they used child labor गांव में गांव में पूरे अगल बगल चार छह दस विलेज में कभी नहीं है हमारे यहाँ जो क्वालिटी बनती है ना Despite these denials, Sachs asked the fathers of the three slaves to come down from Bihar to the carpet region. We were asked to lie low in the hotel until they arrived, but things didn't work out the way we hoped. We don't want to cause any suspicion, and obviously the, the middlemen network is very strong, just from what you say about the parents um, being beaten up before they even got on the train. Surely that would frighten them so much that it would possibly prevent them from coming. Yeah. Two days later, despite the intimidation, Chiche and one other father, Manoj, managed to catch the train to Varanasi, determined to find their sons. That night, under cover of darkness, we talked to them at the safe house where they were staying until the warrant for the raid could be organized. जो हमरे वो देखेगा नजर से तो पहले वो कान्ने सुरा कर देगा और रुकेगा नहीं वो तो मिलना ही मिलना है बाबूजी जब दुआ आपने सब कहा होगा तो मिलना ही है बच्चा पर है जो ख्याल होता है ना बहुत रोता है मुरु खाल भी जहे सुधी जता है वो भी बताते हैं Four days later, the district magistrate finally gave the go-ahead for the raid. We were given a jeep with tinted glass and told to keep hidden until the raid was well underway. The loom owners are sometimes armed, so even with the police on their side, the Sachs activists are keen to get the raid over with as fast as possible to avoid a fight. यार हम लोग घर से आए तुम्हारे सुनो बेटा बड़े बड़े बच्चे the children live in terror of the loom owner. It's been drilled into them that they must hide if strangers ever come to the loom. Oh, my God. 
Chiche's quest to find his son is finally over. After five years as a carpet slave, unpaid, unable to leave and controlled by violence, Huro is free. Along with Horo, 18 other child slaves were found. But the loom owner, Munim Gupta, escaped. This boy is Huro. The boy, his father has come from Bihar. All these boys were found along with him. Sadly, the raid brought bitter disappointment for Manoj, whose son was not one of the 18 set free. But Horo's cousin Shivji was amongst those liberated. Most of the carpets made by child slaves like Huro and Shivji are destined for the showrooms of Europe and the USA. And while we continue to buy carpets that may have been made by child slaves, the slavery will continue. But boycotting Indian carpets will just make the poor poorer. The only effective way to eradicate child slavery is for everyone to buy only carpets which we know for certain are free of slave labor. Carpets like these which carry the label of the UNICEF-backed organization, Rugmark. Each Rugmark carpet has a unique number like a barcode to make sure that no slavery is involved in its manufacture. B&Q is one of the very few UK retailers which actively supports the Rugmark labelling system. A customer buys this rug to improve their quality of life and improve their environment. They put this rug on their lounge floor and it looks great. We sell this rug to make, make profits, to pay my salary and give our shareholders a good return on their investment. And we're doing that to improve our quality of life. So we feel it's obscene to do that at the expense of somebody else's quality of life, especially a 10-year-old slave in India, strapped to this loom, making this rug 20 hours a day. And it's something not just B&Q should get behind, but all businesses and all customers. Rugmark has 12 inspectors in the carpet belt around Varanasi. Working in pairs, they check over 500 looms every week. The carpet looms are randomly selected and the inspectors are given the list of looms to be monitored on a daily basis. 
These random checks can then be linked back to the code number on every rugmark carpet, so the carpet buyer can be as certain as possible that their carpet is free of slave labour. If a child is discovered in one of these raids, the loom owner immediately loses the rugmark accreditation and the child is taken to one of the organization's rehabilitation centers. Both the rehab centers and the loom inspection process is paid for by a small surcharge on the price of each carpet sold. Well, this rug is about 65 pounds and the rugmark label costs no more than a pound. And we believe that's a small price to pay for that peace of mind that by buying that rug, you're not getting involved in the child slavery problem. All of these children are ex-slaves rescued from the carpet belt. Sachs estimate that as many as 9 out of 10 carpets that don't carry the rug mark may have been touched by the small hands of slavery. With so many child slaves involved, it's perhaps surprising that so few UK retailers support the rug mark scheme. Why is it when I go to big department stores, uh, aren't all the rugs carrying a rug mark label? You know, uh, why, isn't all, why aren't all the consumers saying, you know, we want to only buy rugs with a rug mark label? Because it's a very simple thing to do, to be able to say, I'm only going to buy a good if, I, if you can show me that it's not made by slaves. Kuro and Shivji have been back in their village for a month. Both are having nightmares that they are still carpet slaves, but can at least now talk about how their ordeal began. So, what was it he made you do? Galicha bin bere kal, gham yar ne dere yaabela. Wo im bond kar kar rakne re. Galicha im bond kar kar rakne re. Let rigon kare jail dere bande karne re. Maare pite re vakri door lagere. Or kuch chok ni. अंदर से निकल काम करवे खिबे ऊपर में पैसा व्यार कर जा रहे लाट जा रहे झरा फिर Huro was there with you. Was he somebody you could talk to or have as a friend? And how do you feel now to be free? After so many years of beatings, hunger and torture, Huro and Shivji need help to recover. So they'll soon head to the Saks Ashram in Delhi, a rehabilitation centre for freed child slaves. We promised we would see the boys there. But for now, we needed to head for London to meet a woman who had been brought to England's capital and forced to work as a slave. No one knows how many slaves are hidden away in the UK. But behind closed doors, 